Welcome back my friends. Well this is the Jerusalem artichoke uh, bed. I dug what I thought was most of them out but as you can see we've got a few uh, small ones uh, dotted about and we've also got one there that's come outside the uh, the barrier system I've used so I need to get that out. So I'm going to have a dig but this is the corner that we had that different type of artichoke, the long, thin, reddish coloured one. And that seemed to go deeper, so I need to fetch that out. And in actual fact, that's one there. So I may even take that one out as well if it's going to cause me uh, any issues with it escaping and taking over the allotment. I'll bring you back. Basically we've got uh, one foot or 300 millimetres below ground level to the bottom of the plastic and I think what's actually happened is when I've cut the, uh, the artichoke off on the opposite side it's just pushed underneath, it's come out quite easy but that's how easily they can uh, get away there's a few more bits there as well so I think I will leave that there, it's far enough away from the edge, but I will monitor it. It's uh, just one of those. My peas were ready to go in and you always look about and make sure uh, nothing's untoward. As you can see I've fleeced these up, mainly because over there you might, just in the middle of the screen, where the pigeons started to pull them out but they are doing uh, quite well now. So it's time to get these others in. Obviously not deep enough. We'll have to have another go at this if I get time uh, next year or even this year. I'll put the peas out into the brassica cage away from the uh, pigeons. So they're ready to go out now. I'm just giving the kale and the broccoli an air in. Let them get a feel for this weather and it's quite warm, damp and wet at the moment. But I'll be glad to get those in. These are my two carrot boxes on top of the compost bin. We'll have a look, see how these are doing. I think that we're nearly there with them. Just getting some germination there. Uh, just missing some across there. But I've no doubt uh, they're all doing well. So I'll be thinning those out with scissors to one per station. I've never had the polytunnel so, much, so full since I've actually been gardening. I've only been gardening three years, but absolute chocker block in here. We're on uh, 79 days on the rocket, so tomorrow will be the 80 day potato reveal for the rockets. And I just want to show you the cucumbers, you haven't seen those before. It's going to be a bit awkward getting past the potato, so I'll just uh, bring you back. So we've got some sweet peppers over there. Yeah, I might be behind, but uh, they're alive. Cucumber F1, that's a telegraph. We've got some courgettes there, Defender. I've got one butternut squash come up. I had another butternut squash there in the middle of the screen given to me. And then we've got the Car Garmin F1s. Now these Stuttgarter onions were left in the share bay down at the allotment shed and because my red onions were going to seed I thought well I'll have them and they've been in a couple of days and we've already got some green shoots and they're all firmly uh, rooted down so it's strange isn't it but people do like to share they don't like to throw away
and my next successional sewing of Sweet Candle and Nantis 5 have all germinated very similar to those around the allotment now especially in the onion cage they've uh, germinated under the bottle tops so pleased with that and there's my Brussels sprouts fresh from Dobby's garden centre just can't get Brussels sprouts to germinate I only had one last year so I thought no I'm going to get some we love Brussels the leeks that were eaten by the mice they've made a reasonably good recovery I'm hoping that they will continue that way and hashtag giant sunflower challenge it's surprising how quick they grow once they get uh, get going tomatoes they're growing they're still alive and they haven't been frosted happy days and to finish it all off there's just a few radishes left from my first sowing so we'll see you wednesday evening for the 80 day rocket reveal see what we've got in these bags you might say that's a little bit early but i do like small potatoes so as long as i've got a meal i should be happy there's 10 bags in here so that'll be 10 weeks by that time we might be even looking at uh, harvesting the second earlies the marfonia take care my friends till next time happy gardening ta for now